is flipping cold. I think what makes it colder is the moisture in the air. It, the, the, it adds a bite that just says, I'm gonna freeze you like Elsa froze. I don't remember the name of that town in that movie. Arendelle. Nobody ever really talks about um, men health and taking care of our men. And we jokingly talk about, you know, um, the absurdity of, of, you know, how guys will do things and hurt themselves and we'll joke and stuff like that. But when men... This is, do, this is, this is funny watching you say this. No, I'm, I'm being all, with all sincerity because what happened, well... A case in point, and I'll, I'll regress. When he first started having pains, the first appointment when you went to the doctor, they thought you were just jar hideous maximus. You did something silly, and it wasn't really serious, and sent you on your way. Well, so and as we're talking about this, so uh, whatever people are gonna get blunt about it, but I'm not gonna pussyfoot around it. Um, found a lump in one of my testicles, which was a whole lot of not fun. So, um, dang. Uh, with that being said, went and go see the doctor. I'm like, hey, um, something doesn't feel right. You know, there's a bit of pain here. Like, what are we doing? And uh, what I got told was, hey, uh, you know, you're probably just doing like normal marine stuff and you probably strained something. So um, just take it easy for a little bit, do this, do that, and you'll be good. Take these uh, anti inflammatories, or as we call grunt candy, Motrin, and you'll be good. But uh, that was on a Friday. Uh, by the following Monday, it hurt to walk or he, bend over. 
he couldn't like, sleep, um, he couldn't sit up, he couldn't lay down, he was in a tremendous amount of pain, and the swelling area, the area that was hurting, started swelling. So with all the stuff like that, all the stuff being said, I went back to the doc, and I'm like, hey, what's the deal here? Like, this is, like, not right. Mm -hmm. So uh, what the doc said was, like, all right, cool, let's, uh, let's see what we can do to help fix stuff for you. Um, and what uh, we ended up doing is going to get a, a uh, ultrasound. The veins inside uh, the testicles swell up and they don't go anywhere because they get blocked off. And it can be a big problem if you don't get stuff taken care of. So that being said, um, where it's located at, what it's dealing with from what all they saw, their concern is, is now that there are unknown growth somewhere that are affecting us because it's the only thing they can think of. So I just got back from having a uh, CT scan with contrast to see if they can find any abnormal growths or tumors and we are waiting to find out. So. so the thing is, if you know something's wrong and something doesn't feel right, push the subject. That's but, why I'm very protective when it comes to him. He started saying he was in pain and I was like, okay, well, let's take a look. And so then, as we went through all the other stuff and of course there's there's history of tumors and cancer in my family as I found out going through everything, which is always a fun conversation in family. Everyone, hey, how many people had cancer and had problems? And you're like, whoa, crap. Um, but uh, on a serious note, yeah, I mean, it's, it's what we're dealing with. Um, it is what it is, we'll figure it out. Um, God's in control. I'm trying to have a lighthearted sense of humor. But in all honesty, I mean, let, let's talk turkey. You guys usually see us do little stuff. You know, um, for all the military dudes out there that might watch this, don't be the tough guy. Mm -hmm. Don't, don't do the, ah, well, I don't care, I, I can do it, so I'm not a sick big commando. Dude, man, you never know what's what, and you never know what one small thing could lead to another. So if you're, if you are hurt, or if you, you don't feel well, don't tough it out, get it checked out. Are you really getting in my tail? Just come getting ready to go. That's my son. You. Oh, I'm not getting ready. You're dirty, dirty. Dirty, dirty. It's like, well, okay, then get ready. Where's your beanie? Is your head going to be full? You freeze your head. Okay, go. Cool. We're going to be in the building. I'm cold, period. It's cold. And you get cold 15 times faster than I do. And somebody was just complaining. Is anybody see my beanie? Is anybody see my beanie? Is anybody see my beanie? And that was so three days ago. And I remember, so I keep track of your beanie now since the doggies took your beanie. Can I say I'm so awesome they want to smell me? Yeah. So now you had Pumbaa and Timon booty all over it. We have bulldogs. We have had. Pumba and Timon Booty all over everything we own. Yes. Good morning. It's a frosty, wet, gray. This is another day it's in Virginia. <laughs> he, oh. he's chilly. Yeah, it, it, it's it's our thingy shifted again. Uh, it's what it is. Wee wee. <laughs> the silver piggy went all the way home. Yeah. But we're heading to church, so today is a good day. Well, this time we're flipping it up just a little bit. Usually we go to church, then we hit our favorite little joint to get something to eat on the way home. But it's like, <laughs> it, it actually opens up early enough for us to get it on the way there. So it's Brooklyn Bagels here in Virginia Beach. Awesome. And they awesome. have awesome sandwiches. Really, really yummy, 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 yummy. So if you're in Virginia Beach area, they have uh, Brooklyn Bagels and it's bebomb.com. So, down with church, went to the commissary, well, not commissary, uh, went to the grocery store to pick up some do hotty dotties. Um, due to the fact that work is tomorrow, need more grocery stuff for his lunchies. And uh, all that fun stuff. It's raining again, but this time it's mixed with a little bit. You can see some a little bit of white stuff, but as it hits the ground, it's it's turning back into water droplets. But it's cold enough because I got hit in the face with them, and they all were I fluffy. When you have the uh, back of your head cut from getting a military haircut, it's really cold. 
Tom. Yeah. <sighs> yep. We are definitely no longer in the desert. That's for sure. Yep. Yep. So, nope to all y'all out in California and 29 Palms. The drought is over. Come to Virginia. Okay, well, if you guys can tell me, go down to one. I'll go with her.